Hi guys, it's Boris here. And um, a while ago, I did unboxing of this monitor because it was a very cheaper monitor. And a lot of people have some, I think, questions about complaints or stuff like that. Like I said in the other video, it's a cheap as monitor. It's very cheap and it's wide and big. This is why I like it. So now let's go to my complaints and my like. Like I said in the beginning, I don't like the stand. It only goes stitch up and down. It doesn't go beyond that. There's nothing else you can do. And as far as the display, people talk about pixels, dead pixels. There's only sub pixel that is dead on this monitor, which is uh, somewhere around here. You can see, I don't know if you can see it very well. It's just a little, it doesn't show up in other uh, color except when it's in black you can see the little blue there but I'm not sure you, if you can see it on the camera and that is the only problem I have and it's not a problem because it hardly shows up look at how huge it is the nice looking of the hour and stuff like that but and when you start complaining about this which doesn't even affect your work so I don't think it's something to complain about my other complaint is about the screen himself, if you turn it off, you can see every time we try to clean it, there's always something left on it for the cleaning. I don't know. We've used different kinds of wipe to clean it. It makes things worse. You cannot get a very clean, perfect clean off for now. So if you guys have anything out there I can use to clean the monitor, to have a better clean monitor, I really appreciate it. Then the last but not the least is the menu configuration. Yeah, there's a sign here that shows power and whatever these other ones are, but it's a little bit stupid. I was wishing they can do more to it, you know? When you try to go into menu, you start like, you need to like click, 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 and your whole monitor is shaking and you know, stuff like that. And I hope it doesn't fall down. Navigating through the menu sucks. It really, really sucks, you see? What, is, what the hell is this? Just make it like a list, you know, like a drop down list or stuff like that. But when you have too much menu on a nice cheap monitor, I don't really understand why they have it. So navigating through the menu is a pain. So I wish there was a very easier way to navigate through the menu and stuff like that. So guys, the monitor is fine. I've been using it for quite a long time now and I've not really had any serious problem with it. I just leave it where it is, except from the starting time, it takes some a while, you know, when you switch it off, you turn it on, it takes a while before it boots on and comes on. And I believe if your computer is being left on for quite a long time, I don't think you need to be switching it off and on because it goes off automatically if you're not using it and it comes on. So guys, this is the monitor i've been using it from the last time i did the review and i'm still using it i'm enjoying it it's wide enough it's big enough and i can see very clearly and it's perfect so stop complaining it's a cheap monitor and enjoy it and if you have any comments leave it down again in the uh, comment section and if you've not subscribed a lot of you have been looking at it and not subscribed subscribe and i hope to see you in my next video Udabo.